Question 5. When written as the product of prime factors, 225 equals 3 squared times 5 squared. Write 150 as the product of prime factors. Give your answer in index form, okay? I think I understand the question. I need to work out the prime factorization or the prime factors of 150 and make sure to give it an in index form. So 225 equals 3 squared times 5 squared. And I need to do something similar with 150. Okay. So 150. How can I find the prime factors? Well, I need to split it. And I could split it into uh, into its factors, and I could split it into, let's say, um, you know, three lots of 50, and that would work. Or I could split it into two lots of 75. There's lots of different ways you could do this. But I'm going to, or I could split it into 15 lots of 10, each of which would work fine. I'll split it into two lots of 75 for the sake of it. No, I won't. Why not? I'll split it into uh, 10 lots of 15. 10 lots of 15. So 15 and 10 are both factors of 150. But neither of them are prime, so I need to keep going splitting them up. Well, this one, 15, breaks down into three lots of five. Both of those are prime factors, the three and the five, and the 10 splits into two and five. Both of those are prime factors. So I've got my prime factors here, 3 times by 5 times by 2 times by 5, and you'd get two marks for that. But I need it in index form, so it's 3 times by 2. There's two fives, so it's 5 squared. I'm just going to show you that you could do this using different factors. If I chose to split it instead into 3 lots of 50, I would have immediately found a prime, and I would have then had to work on this, and I could have split that into... 5 lots of 10, and I would find one more prime, and then 2 lots of 5, and I would find the same thing, which is 3 times by 2 times by 5 squared. Okay. Now, working out the highest common factor of 225 and 150, the way you have to do it is if you look at the... and I'm going to write these out, because I've got... Firstly, this is part B, and it often will refer to part A. I don't need to start from scratch here. In fact, I've already got all the information I need from part A. If I look at um, the highest common fact, the com sorry, the prime factors of 225, and I'm going to write them out, not in index form. I'm going to write 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Okay. And for... 150, I'll write those out. It's 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by, again, 5 multiplied by 5. Now, the highest common factor for both of those are ones, if I can circle all the ones which are common to both. And in this case, it's 3's, they both got a multiplied by 3. Now, this one doesn't have a 3 and this one doesn't have a 2, so I can't use any of those. But they both have times by 5 times by 5. So my highest common factor for both of those is going to be 3 times by 5 times by 5, which is equal to 3 times by 25, because 5 times 5 is 25, which is equal to 75. So my highest common factor for those two numbers together is 75.